Puma World Order, the greatest that you will see, best that there was, that there is, or there will be. Talk a lot of trash that he talking about is so thick. Ask Chris What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am, of course, Team Puma, wherever you may be, and however you may be watching, thanks for making this video a part of your day. So we're back on NXT. In the previous video, we took on the Grizzled Young Veterans. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. We are in the first week of January here and only three weeks away from NXT Philadelphia. Uh, let's see, let's take a look at the news. Kurt Hawkins, yeah, nobody cares about that one. Alexa Bliss and Ember Moon, Corbin and Balor. God, Roman Reigns and John Cena have been at it. I say it every video. They've been at it since we started. Triple H and Brock Lesnar have are battling out. Um, anything else interesting? Doesn't look like it. All right. So we are on NXT. Kerry Saint. Oh, good grief. Gloria Glitters. We are taking on TM61. I don't think we've ta we've uh, faced Shane Thorne and Nick Miller, but there's always the first time for everything. Johnny Gargano is your current NXT champion. NXT Women's Champion, Kerry Sane. NXT North American Champion, Trey Jeter. We downloaded a created a character there. And NXT Tag Team Championships, the Faces of Fear. Oh, look at that. This whole time, I could have went right here just to see. Good Lord. Alistair Black's your number one contender there. Undisputed Era, number one contender for the Tag Team Championships. Natalia is your number one contender for the Women's Championship. Velveteen Dream for the NXT title. So let's get into the show here and take on TM61. I think we have officially faced every team in uh, NXT at the moment. So there's that. There's something there. Carrie's... What? What? I'm a little speechless. The very bottom ranked women's superstar gloria glitters beats the nxt champion clean in a non-title match interesting alicia fox beats dana brooke really nxt title holder middle of the card that makes no sense to me makes no sense to me johnny gargano is going to get the victory but here we are facing off against tm61 Let's get into it. Difficulty has been moved up to Legend, and oh boy, did we notice it in the last video. We were very close to losing our matchup against uh, Grizzled Young Veterans, but a spine buster and a spear took care of them in a heartbeat. We managed to get the victory there, so that's something. That's something we didn't we didn't lose, but boy, did they, they put us through the ringer. They almost... Um, they, they almost gave us our first loss of the season here. So we'll keep heading towards WrestleMania. And then after WrestleMania, um, I think we're going to put um, Taurus over on SmackDown. And we'll go from there and try to uh, get some stuff in. Because we don't have too much longer before uh, 2K22 comes out. So... I am excited. My GM uh, looks fantastic. I don't think I have ever done my GM mode, even in the older games. Well, I guess only in the older games, but back then, um, I don't think I ever participated in my GM mode. One thing, I, I didn't mean to make this video about 2K22 news, but one thing I did see that I liked, well, I'll say one thing, two things. You can create your own custom GM. I feel like a CM Puma GM mode is in order. But the other thing um, was that the different cards for those characters, or for those superstars. Oh, God, it's right in the knee. Uh-uh. Pushed him away. Pushed him away. Um, there, oh, man, there was, a, there was something, and I completely forgot what it was. And now I'm trying not to be silent in this video while I think about it. Well, crappity. I can't believe I just spaced on that. Well, that's annoying. Oh, I now I remember. Crap. Don't get old, kids. Don't get old. Um, 
but one of the one of the bigger things was the spectate. So you can set up these matches. You can import your custom characters into your draft and have them on your show. You can spectate the match. You can even play the match, and that way you can ensure whoever you want to win does win. But that that makes me think that with the spectate mode, you can. I I don't think you can play and spectate. I don't know, like, if you were playing, if you were switching up the uh, camera views, but during in spectate mode, you can change cameras on the fly. That looks like it's going to be something really fun that you can add into um, universe mode, your custom universe mode. If we bring SWF back, or you, you guys that have your own shows, um, it looks like maybe we could use those as cutscenes or changing up the way something's happening in a particular match you know add in a cool little uh, a camera angle to further the storyline or you know just at golly could you not I'm completely out of reversals now but so is he but it doesn't matter but you could add that to your um your show and I think that would be pretty cool you could you know get an angle from the announce table or get an angle from out in the crowd or something like that so that's something I'm kind of looking forward to is the spectate mode but we'll have to see I don't know how well um, I would do it a GM mode since I've never never really done it and watching the uh, the GM uh, video the ringside report and it's all that you, you have to spend your money wisely. Oh, look at that assisted power slam. Nice job. You have to spend your money wisely because you can't spend all your money on superstars. And then, because you didn't, you won't have any money for the show. Lionel Jenkins was talking about that. You won't have any money for the show. And then you're kind of stuck. So, it looks like, oh man, Taurus got the knees up. Oh, that was I've never seen that animation before that was pretty cool um, anyway my GMO looks like it's gonna be awesome wasteland yeah I'm not gonna let oh huge right hand holy cow um, I'm looking forward to it I, here's my only issue is time I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do a superstar mode I don't know if I'm gonna, uh, or uh, yeah, my rise or whatever. I don't know if I'm gonna have time for universe. I don't know if I'm gonna have time for GM. You know what I mean? Like I'm gonna have to pick some things and do them because I work. I have kids. Um, I keep doing the same things over and over. You know, I, I can't spend all my time in front of my computer, and so I'm kind of doing it now where we're gonna try to finish off this fool right now where I record a little bit at night and set the video up and then upload them to YouTube then you know come on now um, so you know it's I, I'm, I'm able to do what I can and while I want to do everything I just don't think I'm gonna be able to and post it um, or you know, have a have a schedule. Oh, dude, I just walked over. I didn't even do anything. Um, have a schedule, for example. You know, Monday is my rise, and Tuesday is my GM, and Wednesday is, you know, whatever else, universe mode. So um, that might work, but I don't know. I, we, we'll have to see how it plays out. We, we might just do a bunch of matches for fun I mean especially to like get the lay of the land he reversed the signature um, just to kind of get a grasp on things I know uh, Brandon does everything talked about um, there's a tutorial and he recommends you know, doing the tutorial and things like that so that that is definitely gonna cheese and rice he just wrecked us oh my goodness 
What a clothesline that was. Oh, we have possum. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to 2K22. I had a lot of hope and excitement for 2K20. And boy, did that turn out um, like a mess. That was just awful. Um, so we'll see. I, I hate to to get so hyped up again and it just be junk, but flatliner from Mortis and a shot to Nick Miller. It doesn't look like we're gonna catch our first loss today. Count it out, ref, and send this fool home. We got him. We got him. So anyhow, I'm I'm pretty pretty excited, but at the same time, I'm not expecting a whole lot. Just it makes me nervous after 2K20. But they're showing us a lot of good stuff. We're seeing a lot of good things. We will have to see what that means. Okay. Now, let's see. We got Trey Jeter and Oni Lorcan, and Oni gets the victory. My goodness. I think they're they're in their rivalry together right now for the title. Shayna Baszler and Natalia. Natty is your number one contender. Let's see. Shayna gets the victory. Uh, how are they both ranked three? That doesn't make any sense. And then we've got Adam Cole taking on Chris Falcone. The entire Undisputed Era. Of course, they are going to get the victory there. Here we go. We're going to see what's what's going on moving forward. Moving along here into the in this month as we head towards uh, um, TakeOver there. We've been on every card, so that's something. Um as a team as a tag team we've been on every card so that's good uh looks like we're taking Cassius Ono and Velveteen Dream um in the next one let's look at the news real quick uh Carrie and Ruby they fight on stage Oni gets his revenge against Jeter and took his loss admirably and tried to commend his opponent Adam Cole looked insulted refused and ordered him out of the ring what a what a mean guy um, let's look at this news here. Alexa won over Ember Moon. Finn Balor got even from last week. John Cena and Roman Reigns stared down in the ring. Brock and Triple H have their thing going on. Shelton, uh, yeah, Bludgeon Brothers, Paige took the win over Naomi. All right. And the Usa Usa's, Usos uh, beat the crap out of the New Day, it looks like. October week one. Look at this. October week one. Randy Orton, Blindsides Andrade. January week two. Called him out. Still not content with how their rivalry ended. That was months ago, bro. Move it along. So we are opening the show in the next video. Taurus and Mortis versus Cassius Ono and Velveteen Dream. Dana Brooke with a uh, with a promo. Johnny Gargano and Tromba. Kerry Sane versus Natty. Oh, that's the decent triple threat. Of course, that's going to happen. And Chris Falcone and Adam Cole. I don't think we've been in a rivalry yet. We have not. I mean, the NXT Championship's not even in the rivalry. These guys are. This makes sense. Title, title. What is this? It, okay. Let's look at the other rivalries. This has been a rivalry for freaking ever. Sami Zayn and Braun Strowman. Elias and... Seth Rollins, not terrible. FTR against Heath and, and Rhino. Man, they got a lot of rivalries. Um, over on SmackDown, we got Shelton and, and Nakamura. Yeah, nothing interesting to me. That's interesting. Undertaker and uh, Daniel Bryan. I like that. 205 Live, of course. Nothing crazy there. Um, all the past rivalries here. So, all right. But let's look at the power rankings real quick. Number three. I like that. Plus five attribute points. It's just never, never ceases to surprise me. How's Johnny Gargano 10? He's the friggin' NXT champion. What do I know? All right. That's going to be it, guys. In the next video, we're taking on the knockout artist, Cassius Sono, and the Velveteen Dream in a tag team match to open up. NXT only a couple weeks away before we hit Philadelphia for NXT TakeOver. But that's going to be it. 
Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not. And come on back for more NXT action. Taking on a new team of Cassius Ono and the Velveteen Dream.